The German occupation of northeast France refers to the period in which French territory, mostly along the Belgian and Luxembourgish border, was held under military occupation by the German Empire during World War I. Owing to the speed of the German invasion of Belgium in 1914, fighting reached French soil early in the war. Though their advance was stopped at the First Battle of the Marne in September 1914, the Germans gained control of a portion of French territory which remained under German occupation behind the stabilized Western Front for much of the rest of the war. The occupied zone represented about 3.7% of French landmass and included some of the most industrialized parts of the country. 64% of France's pig iron production, 24% of its steel manufacturing and 40% of the total coal mining capacity was located in the zone, dealing a major setback to French industry. A number of important towns and cities were situated within it too, notably Lille, Douai, Cambrai, Valenciennes, Mabiuge and Avesnes. Partly because of its proximity to the front, occupied northeast France was ruled by the military, rather than by a civilian occupation administration. Economic exploitation of the occupied zone increased throughout the war. Forced labour became increasingly common as the war dragged on. Much of the 1928 novel Schlump by Hans Herbert Grimm is set in German-occupied France where the protagonist works in the occupation administration. See also Nord-Pas-de-Calais mining basin World War I reparations Notes <laughs>